Hi guys, um, got this little tank for to review today. Um, it's called the Tornado Mini RCS. Uh, I've got a review on the Tornado, the uh, the full RCS kit. Um, if you want to go and check that out, so I got this one in black with clear plastic. Um, the reason I got this was I was going out and. All my rebuildables needed coiling, plus I didn't want to take out big devices. I've got this tiny little Ego battery, uh, so I just wanted something to stick on there. <coughs> and I like the bottom coil system from the Tornado that I've got. So I just thought I'd buy one of these, got it from my local shop in Wakefield. Um, I'm not going to bother with close-up cam today, there's no need, so what? There's not much to show you. So first of all, I'll show you the drip tip. Comes out. Um, pretty standard, really. Uh, got your tank section. And this little bottom bit. And the coil, when it's not juicy, just uh, unscrews. Just a second. It doesn't unscrew. It's a pull out one. <laughs> Why did I think it unscrewed? Anyway, um, yeah, just pulls out. Um, and that's your post there, so it just pushes in. All seals nice. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and I've been using it a fair bit just because it's nice and small and it fits on something that'll just slip into your pocket um bit easier to take out with you than the big stuff that i that i, I normally use um I'm not completely prepared because i've left the box for it somewhere else um but it comes in ignore what this says but it comes in uh, in a box like this um nicely packaged in a very similar box to this tank could go in there and then I think that's right I think you get two replacement coils on the one that's in it as well so um, and it was how much was it um, it cost um, 11 99 or did it I think it cost 11 99 but I think there was I think there's some sort of deal on at the Wakefield shop but eleven ninety nine is the normal price. Um, yeah, so I'll fill it up and then we'll give it a we'll give it a vape. Um, this is a one of my own mixers and it's fifty fifty. So did that off screen. So to fill it up. Just like most tanks, there's a little tube down the middle, that's where your vapour goes up. So you just pour it down the edge. Um, there's quite a nice big gap down the edge, so it fills up pretty easily. Upside down, put the tube of the coil through the centre tube. Um, drip tip back on. And I'm going to stick it on on my evic just so I can show the arms and whatever but it works excellent on any ego battery that I've put it on so far so that's that on and oop, evic on 1.7 arms it's 1.8 really but uh, should we leave that at seven, seven and a half watts? I'll leave that at. So, give it a vape and show you how it produces.
Right, sorry about that little cut there. I uh, was having a little problem with the EVIC, uh, but just needed the battery changing. So that's it on the EVIC, and it's at seven and a half. So, um, give it a quick vape, see how it works. So as you can see it works brilliantly. Let's stick it on this uh, little Evo battery. Five clicks and it's on. I've also got a video of this. Um, so let's try it on here. Twist the tip around a bit. So as you can see it produces a good amount of vapour, flavour is fantastic from it. Um, it works very, it works as good as the um, the big RCS as it should, it shouldn't work any different, it's just got less liquid in it basically and it's ego threaded rather than uh, 510. Um, I think it looks good on there, this is a very small bash, I think this is only 600 milliamp hour, might be 650, so it's quite small. It's uh, it's tiny. <coughs> so for people that like small devices, or somebody like me who just wouldn't, just wanted a small device to shove in the pocket when I was going out to a concert, um, it's fantastic. So, brilliant amount of vapour. It is a 50-50 mix, bear in mind. That's, I always try and state that the amount of vapour that I get, the production is not necessarily what you'll get. If you use a very heavy PG mix, you might not get as much vapour as that. But, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely good. And it's definitely got me back into um, bottom coils. I haven't used my Pro Tank for a while, or my Tornado, but... Um, after I got this, I'm definitely back into the bottom coils. So, thanks for watching, guys. Definitely recommend this. Sorry about a long video when it's just about a tank, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm on Twitter at vapes89. So. Follow me on there if you're interested and please, any comments would be greatly appreciated. So please subscribe or go and watch my other videos. Thanks.